my name is Tom Queeley. Here are my thoughts exclusively at William Hill. A lot of the uh, the big national hunt uh, stables are represented here. And my selection would be beyond for uh, the David Pipe stable, this um, Gelling by Galileo. Now, he hasn't run on the flat for quite some time, but he did win... Um, Last July at Sandown, over a mile six, and um, he ran it ever so well in the Cesar, which back in October, I think he's he's a horse could run awfully well. After remainder, you know, there's Nicky Henderson's runner veiled. There's Romeo Montagu will will be um, quite popular as well. Um, this horse ran very well in the Queen Alexandra when he was third at Royal Ascot, and um, he's since he's won a a two mile handicap at Ascot quite well Ryan Moore's booked for him for a Dunlop so that horse is going to be popular also but beyond here in this race for me Tahir's form is rock solid um, Chilworth Icon is, is pretty consistent um, Birdman has a close um, line of form in Olympic glory and this would be an apt winner if Olympic glory was to win I think he could win um, he was second in in the Coventry at Ascot and uh, he won a group two at Newmarket. Now, it was heavy, heavy ground that time. And I think this, it's fair to say that being by Choisir, the, the best best of his form may yet to, you know, be to come. So, um, on good ground. Birdman was just behind him on that occasion. But I think Olympic glory um, allowing for a reasonable improvement. And if he reproduces his Coventry form, I, I think he, he could win. Well, give us the latest on Frankel. Yeah, he's, he's in good form. His preparation has has been good. Um, we've had we've had no um, no problems with him, and he's the best horse in the race. And let's hope that uh, he wins and he wins well. I, I mean that there's I, I know that you've got a number of different specials going on how far and uh, and what not. So uh, basically, it's just a question of how far, really, isn't it? <laughs> I I think he he could. I think he he could he could beat far eight lengths, so I don't know. But as as you said, if it all depends how far clear I am, and, and then how how hard the other horses behind are ridden to, you know, to, whether if there's a race on for second, then maybe it might be less. But we will see. Cardinal Walter is is the one at a bigger price that I thought might represent a little bit of each way value. Um, this horse by Cape Cross got the job done nicely at, at Haydock and um, you know I suppose as an excuse on, on the softer ground of late I think there's more to come with this one um, you know and it, it's it's still early days he's only had four runs and, and there could you know there could could be a big run from him today Today, I'm not saying he'll win uh, Swinmore as well is the one I, I thought is, is lightly raced and from top connections, William Haggis, Ryan Moore booked to take the ride. He's he had to go to Pontefract to get his his maiden, but um, some of his form has been on slower ground. I think um, being by Dylan Thomas, he there could be more to come from him. Um, Swinmore for me here. Has that here is a filly by Cape Cross, who's represented by the Peter Chappellheim Yard. Uh, a decent fourth at uh, at Yarmouth last month um, and allowing for reasonable improvement should be there thereabouts the one I quite like is um, Pearl C allows her and Achievely Park entry and who showed plenty of ability at two good race courses Doncaster and Newmark you, you don't get better form than that and I think uh, David Brown's runner with Jamie Spencer on board Philly by Elusive City could get the job done um, my, my ride here Shagun should have quite a good chance he was unlucky at Nottingham actually uh, on her penultimate start uh, not to get the verdict he just hung a little uh, I don't know whether it was the track or the ground or whatever that day but she made no mistake next time at Salisbury in Mongan Road on that occasion she made all and, and she she bolted up she's in the form of her life and I, I think she she should give give uh, punters a, a, certainly a great run for the money probably the biggest danger would be probably Keen Dancer you know who, who's who made no mistake the last two runs, drawn nine, it's not a bad draw. I'm just drawn insider in in seven. So uh, Keen Dancer could give me a run for my money, um, the Sir Michael Stout filly, but uh, I'm going to stick with my own one here. Yeah, uh, an open enough affair, really. Um, you could, you know, it's a, it's a big field. Um, Dubawi Sound is, is quietly fancied. 
I know that uh, we spoke about David Barnes earlier, runner. This one's got the assistance of Harry Bentley, who will, who will take off a valuable three off a nine stone twelve. Um, this this gelding by Dubawi won win well last time, and um, it should be there thereabouts. I like tr- Triple Charm actually. A nice nice bit down the way. It's a nine stone five. William Burek on board. A pivotal filly. Um, you know, Jeremy Seed is runner. Should be there thereabouts, and I'm going to take a chance on on her.